you need to wear this on turf. While a great boot, I'm not talking about the Pred 24 Elite, I'm referring to its sole plate. This is the 2G, 3G artificial grass sole plate. While I've seen this sole plate over the last few years, I've never actually purchased one before. And when I saw these boots on sale on Unisport, I figured what the heck, might as well purchase them and do a full review. Over the last few weeks of wearing this sole plate, I've actually been left pretty surprised on its performance. Let's get into it. Sole plates like the 2G, 3G plate here are pretty hard to come by in the United States for whatever reason they just don't give us as much turf boots and it's very frustrating we do get a lot of the TF rubber outsole boots that are kind of like the indoors of like that rubber slap on the bottom but for the most part they just don't carry them anywhere a few websites carry AG boots but it's not a large option and honestly it's gotten to the point where the last two years I only order my AG boots from Unisport because they're the only retailer that really have any options for AG boots. This sole plate is going to be perfect for a pitch near me. I recently moved and the only open to the public turf field available is a really kind of short and flattened um, turf pitch with very little rubber in it. So all the recent videos I've done at this turf pitch, I've been getting a lot of stud pressure on my boots. And so wearing a sole plate like this, where there is 30 something points of contact and the studs are very short is going to one help spread out the pressure from my foot every time I take a step and then two is going to reduce the chance of the studs snagging because of how short they are and I can confirm that this sole plate did exactly what it was supposed to do there was no stud pressure and there's no studs that snagged which is great because even the Superfly 10 AG review I recently did I had issues with that AG plate kind of giving me some stud pressure and if I was on a more thicker or a just better turf pitch I don't think I would have had those problems but this sole plate fantastic the stability of the sole plate was also great I found that anytime I needed to make a quick change of direction a cut into a shot anything like that this sole plate handled really well I did not have my feet or studs catch at all on the turf in any of those situations and I never slipped either so Shout out to Adidas for this 2G, 3G sole plate. A potential downside is this sole plate feels a lot more stiff than the FG versions do that I have. And it actually goes all the way up into the heel cup. While the top here is a little bit more collapsible, the rest of this is a lot more solid. And it feels like they've added reinforcements of some kind into the, the heel counter itself. And even the upper feels a bit more structured. It's not necessarily stiff, but it's a lot less malleable. So if I get the blackout pair here with the, it has the fold out tongue and it's FG, it feels a lot more malleable. The heel cup here pushes all the way down. So it might be a little hard to see because it's a black boot, but if I go with this one, it, it doesn't. So I don't know why that is. It makes it feel like a little bit different of a boot than the actual Predator Elite that's not in this 2G, 3G plate, but it definitely feels a little bit different. The Hybrid Touch 2.0 on the upper still feels the same. It's got that nice plush foot to ball connection whenever you're hitting a shot. I love shooting in Predators. For some reason, whenever I'm playing, some of my best goals and shots have come from wearing Predators of all kinds. I don't know why that is, but it always feels great. The rubber strike skin elements on the inside of the boot are still great. I do think that they help grip the ball a little bit more than most traditional grip elements do especially grip knit. I think these are a little bit better. My only complaint is add them to the rest of the boot. I talked about this when I did the Predator Elites back when they first dropped like six, seven months ago, but that's still my same complaint. Can we please just add the rest of the rubber elements here and right up here? If you're gonna add them, put them on the whole boot. I'm not asking for anything crazy like the Predator Edge or the Predator Freak or Mutator, but just give us a little more. The comfort for this boot is still pretty great. It just takes a lot longer than normal to break in. And because of this extra structuring in the heel, which is actually probably because there's a lack of heel counter coming up from the sole plate, it kind of bleeds into the rest of the boot a bit, making it feel a bit more stiff. And again, probably two to three hours to really break in and get past that. Once you get past that, it feels a lot better. But until then, it was a little bit of touch and go for me to actually get this boot broken in. The padding in the heel is good. It just sits right around the top of the collar. And I think that's what most people prefer because the more padding you cram into a boot, especially down the back of the heel on the inside, it just feels like that leads to blisters. The FG pairs I've worn in the past didn't give me blisters and this 2G, 3G pair did not give me blisters. The tongue has a little bit of padding as well. I'm personally indifferent to it. Sometimes I like a thicker tongue. Sometimes I like a thinner tongue. It just depends on the material. This material is just okay and the padding is 
maybe helps give a little bit more of a plush feeling when striking a ball, but overall, I don't think it makes a big difference in a good way or a bad way. For size and fit, I went with my normal 9 US. Width wise, I did mention earlier, it took two to three hours to break this boot in for me, and that really just led to a little bit of pain on the outside of my foot right here. And after I had them broken in, it felt like they fit more to my feet, that went away. So I would classify this boot as still good for wide feet, at least for the 2G, 3G plate, but it just takes more time. The regular FG pairs like this one here did not take nearly as long. I think it was like 30 minutes to an hour before I really felt it stretch properly. It's just something I attribute to the design of this sole plate and the boot feeling a bit more stiff than the normal pairs. But again, that went away and I got over it. This AG pair here of Predators blew me out of the water with its durability. Obviously it's an AG pair, so it's supposed to be more designed to survive AG. And yes, that remained the case. All three pairs of the FG ones I wore, the tongue pair, the regular, and the laceless all had some sorts of issues with the sole plate, whether it was the heel counter coming off and the heel cup starting to peel away or areas in the instep where I was getting sole separation. These, I have absolutely nothing. Sole plates like these and AG ones in general are typically more durable. They're designed that way because turf eats up boots, especially garbage turf, it just shreds them. And oftentimes, like this pair has here, there's a band that comes all the way around the boot itself and then where the sole plate starts, especially here up in the toe area. And that's kind of just to add a little bit of extra durability and protection from the turf and kind of hold the boot more together and just kind of prevent it from just getting absolutely shredded. So this review is mostly based on the sole plate itself. It's not necessarily about the Predator Elite. I've done three different reviews on that already, but I wanted to just give everybody a better look at this sole plate. And I really do think it's something you need in your boot bag because if you rock up to a game and the turf pitch is awful, you're not gonna wanna wear your FG boots and even your AG boots you might have some issues with, could lead to snagging and could potentially lead to injury. And I know Adidas makes a few different models i know for sure they have the new f50 with this sole plate and i'm also assuming the copa pure also has a sole plate similar to this if you're wondering where to pick these up unisport is where i got my pair they were already on discount so it was pretty cool i think 30 or 40 percent saved me a ton of money no i'm not sponsored by unisport unisport please sponsor me but i figured i'd tell you guys where and then another website i did see was adidas uk has a couple variations of of boots with this whole plate nothing crazy but just another option if you live in the uk so there you have it my full review on the 2g 3g sole plate on the predator elite if you don't have a pair yet you need to pick these up that's all i have for you guys today if you like this video please like and subscribe there's tons of videos and boot reviews on the channel give those a look and with that i will see you in the next one